Good morning, everybody, and happy Vlogtober Day 8. Today is baby girl's birthday. We're recovering from a hurricane, and we're going to try to see if we can make it as exciting as possible. So, stick around. Today is definitely off to a much better start. It is, I'm not even sure, between 7 and 7.30, I think, somewhere in there. Didn't even check the clock, but going to turn the camera around and let you see the difference between this morning and what you guys saw yesterday morning. Look at those beautiful skies. It is so hard to believe that just yesterday it was so nasty here. Definitely much, much more beautiful this morning everything is calm just a very very light breeze i hear the birds chirping again haven't heard that in a few days and things are getting back to normal as you can probably hear a lot more traffic back out on the road businesses are opening back up the ones that have power anyway at our home we're still out of power so we have started the morning off still at the shelter and hoping that will come on very very soon because today is a big day my baby girl is turning 19 today and we got to be able to celebrate at least somehow so gonna be excited to finally get home all right so breakfast has just arrived you guys let's see what we got today cereal. a bagel some cereal and fruit Hmm. Did find some ham in there and some cream cheese. Put on that bagel. Nice little breakfast. It is shaping up to be a beautiful day around here, but getting hot. I think the high today is supposed to be like 88. And there's just a very, very small breeze, but it's not a cool breeze whatsoever. But anyway, it's about 10 o'clock, close to. So we're going to run home for a little bit. There's still no power there, but we got to get all that junk out of the refrigerator and get it open so it can start airing out because you guys know it'll start stinking very quickly. The power's been out now 24 hours. So after that, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe the power will come back on and maybe it won't. But right now it's just one step at a time. Fortunately, as you guys can see, Aside from a lonely little root beer <laughs> and some a few leftovers, we don't really have a whole, whole lot. There's more in the two freezers, of course, but nothing very much in the refrigerator. As we knew the storm was coming and we haven't stocked up. So fortunately, we're not going to be losing a whole, whole lot of stuff. Mostly, of course, just the meats from the freezer, but that can be replaced. So it could have been much worse, but good preparation. We just didn't stock up. So time to get it out. Ask number one completed. This is an advantage of having all these organizers in the freezer and in the refrigerator because it was so easy just to dump those. And yes, everything was already defrosted and there was just no salvaging it. But look at here. <laughs> I can't, I don't know if you can see it falling or not, but the water, yeah, there you go. The water is falling from the door as it's falling out. And we've got the big freezer emptied out as well. So is the reality after a storm. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at there. Always a bright spot, especially during the middle of a hurricane to have a package. No. Oh. Let's it, do it again. Can you do it again? There's Yay! only there's only one moment like that one, right? <laughs> In case you're wondering, the power came on. Oh my goodness, you would <laughs> you would have thought you would have thought that we just won a million bucks or something like that. We were hollering and screaming. I'm sure our neighbors heard us through these windows. Matter of fact, I was trying to listen to hear and see if any of them were cheering as well. So, what time is it, bud? 12:07. It's 12.07, so a little afternoon. So we were without power right about 26 hours, which that's not too bad following a hurricane. It could have been worse. I know there are still a lot of people out of power, but we are glad because it is baby girl's birthday, and now we can get showered up and get ready to have a nice little dinner tonight. So, yay. Oh, what a difference a day make. It's hard to believe that just about 24 hours ago, less than that really, Things were quite a different picture here in Florida. Beautiful blue skies. 
the sun is out and it is just a beautiful day it feels so good to have a shower ah it's the little things definitely feels nice to be fresh and clean so hubby doesn't get off until six because they're on 12-hour shifts of course you know all law enforcement personnel are pulled out on times like this so while he's still at work i'm gonna run up to a new dollar general in town and take a look around and i thought i'd take you with me and show you and we will see this brand new store together you guys see our neat little dollar general it's even got gas coming soon. I didn't know Dollar Generals were starting to carry gas. This is so cool. It really is like a marketplace. I have never seen a Dollar General like this before. Of course, a lot of the food shelves are still empty because of course, hurricane shipments have been delayed. It's brand new. It just, it opened actually the day before the hurricane hit. So a lot of the water and stuff had already been bought up, but the shipments of course have been delayed and uh, a lot of the food is empty, but this is so cool, you guys, so cool. So at Dollar General, I got the birthday girl something special she's got to wear to dinner. And I'm not sure that she's going to want to, but you all got to cheer her on right there where you are because she needs to. So turn the camera to her and let's see what it is. Mom, I'm not wearing that. Yes, today. you are. Mom, I'm not Come on, wearing show that. Show to people, show to people, show to people. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> Open it up and put it on. Let the people see. <laughs> you guys have probably figured out by now she's not as flamboyant and boisterous as her mother because I would so wear it in a heartbeat. Goes the other way, babe. Over the other arm. Yes! Look how cute. The birthday girl. Birthday girls got some stuff to open. Thank you. What is it? Money. Money. Money makes the world go round. She's got another one. What's in this one, baby? Oh yeah, those makeup brushes. Many of you will remember me doing a review on these recently and I love them so much that I bought her a set for her very own. Oh, you excited about that? Yeah. Yeah, you liked them when you tried them, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you excited? Mm -hmm. I don't know how she can be 19 because you guys know I'm only 29. <laughs> <laughs> what bub get you, babe? A gator shirt? Very nice, buddy. Okay. Well, what was your first choice, babe? Chilies. Chilies, but they were closed because of the hurricane. So we are here at Corky Bell Seafood Restaurant. You can see all the little fish and oceanic creatures. Look at the yummy food. Tell them what you got, bud. Chicken Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Feel good, cool Range. Feel good. Cool chicken. Mm -hmm. We are sharing a, a big mate platter. I wanted to show you guys the ambiance outside this restaurant. Isn't it so pretty? How they have the lights around the trees and it's this way all year not just for Christmas and I love it. Quick trip by the Wally World. We do have power back on at the house but not really any supplies so we gonna let baby girl pick her out a little cake up in here that's already done. Well now, you know it wouldn't be a trip to Walmart if I didn't find something cool, like bling on a roll. So you guys get ready for another DIY coming soon. Show us what you, wait, show us what you got. Red Velvet, her favorite. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Sorry, no candles. <laughs> well, another day down. Another birthday celebration. Did you have a good time in spite of everything? Yeah. <laughs> Matthew kind of crashed the party, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, but we tried to make the mess, mess, mess of it. We tried to make the best of it and salvage the day the best we could. And tomorrow we will celebrate all over again with the little kiddos in Children's Church and with my parents after church. So another day of partying, baby. Yes, yes, yes. All right. With that being said, we're going to say goodnight a little early tonight because we are all flat exhausted. It has been a rough couple of days, y'all. I want to thank you so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.